and Y. Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you get this alarm. Why do we get this warning on the Liebert BSEs and BS and BS units? And this one here. Not because of a free stat or actual freeze protection. As you can see from the legend, there's no free stat. And from the and from the schema. No free stat. So the reason why you get this alarm or warning is simply because the system is telling you that it's low on refrigerant. So right now we're drawing 16 amp at compressor number one. Because that's where the alarm is for, or the warning. And I think we're drawing 18 amps on the highest leg. leg. If we go to compressor number two, We're drawing 22 amps in the highest leg. So right away you can see a difference in average draw. Simply because compressor number two, in this case, has more refrigerant than compressor number one. Alright? So let's look at the uh, where this alarm has been generated from, our warning. See that there's a um, low pressure warning, a low pressure code for circuit one is two. Now I believe after three tries, or three attempts, or three three trips, that will uh, generate a low pressure alarm. So in this case, you can see that it's just low refrigerant. More than likely we have a leak because we have high superheat and we have low of cooling. Uh, we have low low air pressure, or reasonably normal or somewhat close to normal. The entering fluid is, is, is in the 80s, entering the condenser cycle. But you can see what's going on from these numbers. The system is it's not a restriction, it's not a bad TXV, it's just low in the fridge. It's somewhat of a refrigerant leak going on here. But that's the that's the reason for that uh, free, freeze, freeze protection warning. Okay. Uh, the system is pretty much low in the fridge. I'm going to add some refrigerant, add some refrigerant to the system. Now, before you go ahead, if you have a situation like this, a bad TXV or for the TXV or restriction could give you the same warning. So make sure you do your diligence first. Check your superheat and subcoolings, readings like I'm doing right here. My super weight is very high, some cooling is very low, and um, this gives me the indication that it's definitely low on a freezer. In addition to that, I compare the highest amperage draw from the circuit that's good, which is circuit number two, 
there's no faults from that one are warnings. And that's 22.8 amps. And I go the highest amperage draw on compressor number one. It's 18, so a total of about five amps, I think. Or close to that, okay? Yeah, so that's it, guys. If you like the video, give it a fat thumbs up. Here's my sensor. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and juice this up. It is a critical room. I'm gonna go ahead and juice it up. Um, and then we're gonna have to do a leaf check. Full system leaf check on this one. Alright, so again, if you like this video, give it a fat thumbs up. And leave your comment in the comment section if you got questions. Alright, again, freeze protection. There's no free start, as you can see from the legend on the schematic. Let's do it again, because if you're still here, you're special. And you can go ahead and just pause the video and check your legend. something let me know and um, also on the schema there's no free stack mentioned here all right so that freeze protection is rather confusing because it's not coming from a free stack like you think it's coming from here LPT low pressure transducer okay all right so I'm gonna close this video off again don't forget to uh, let's see if the corner went up once because it just cuts off again. So let's see if it's a uh, no at three. Uh, it's still at two, and the compressor is now pumped down. Okay, I'm out.